Welcome to the Easter edition of the Wine Guild. And today we're going to talk about an old Christian tradition that many people don't know about. See, the early Christians, which were actually descendant from Jewish people, of course, because Jesus was Jewish, right? We knew that. So what they did was they combined and they took some of the Passover traditions, of one of which was hiding matzah. Today we hide eggs, right? Yeah. But you really should be hiding wine. So what I did was I asked the Easter Bunny, called him up, asked him for a favor, and I said, I have a bottle of Pinot Noir, which is very good, but what I'd like you to do is hide it for us. Hide some wine so we could have a real wine hunt like the ancient Christians used to do. And then we'll, when we're done with it, we'll come back and we'll taste it and we'll see how it is. What do you think? Good idea? Yeah. So the Easter Bunny did hide some of them, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go find it. Matt, Michael's got his his um, Easter, basket. Easter basket. Matthew has his little bird there, his little chick, and then we're going to go off and do it. So come on guys, let's go. Hey guys, wait a minute. There's a sign here. Wait a minute. It says, no eggs here. <laughs> Look across the street. I bet you there's no eggs here. That's no, right? No. That's not right? You think it's no. a trick? No. Yes. It's a trick? Yes. Well, maybe we should look here then. Ooh, what is this? An egg. An egg. But I was looking for a wine glass. What do you think? I think. Well, look at this. There's wine in here. Ooh, it smells pretty good. I see what the Easter Bunny did. The Easter Bunny didn't want to put himself out of business. If he just hid the wine, nobody would be looking for the eggs anymore. So he put the wine in the eggs. What do you think? Good idea? Yeah. All right, let's see what else we can find. What else is around here? Oh, another one. Pretty cool. This is a big one. Yeah, a big bag. Mmm. And another one. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Let's put them all in here. <laughs> another one in here, too, right? Yep, there's some in there, too. Let's go find more. All right, we're going to go find some more. What do you say, guys? More? More! Excellent, that's good enough. Let's go inside and see what's inside these eggs. Okay, we're back in our home base after our Easter egg hunt. And we have our eggs filled with wine. And peeps. So, and we also have some peeps for later. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the open the eggs and make ourselves a glass here. All right. Let's see. All right. Very good. What's going on with this green one? The ones that don't have any wine. Oh, uh, they're all. I think these recipes spilled a little bit. That's not good. All right. Well, that's pretty good, right? Let's put this basket down. That that one's empty. There's some we'll... in here. Oh, there is some. Okay. Some in here too. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Ah, there we go. Ah, and a little bit there. Very good. Okay. Now. Let's taste it. First, we're going to smell it. it. Has a very light nose. Not much of a smell to it. I think it smells like the Easter Bunny. It smells like the Easter Bunny it himself. It smells good. Well, he did touch it, so who knows? It might smell like rabbit. Very good wine. Very good Pinot Noir. Very dry. It's very important to have a dry Pinot Noir because Pinot Noirs can tend to be. The fruity at times, that can be too sweet at times. But anyway, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to see what this Pinot Noir, which you can have with ham, which you can have with lamb, two things that you eat on Easter all the time, but really what the thing everybody eats peeps. is peeps. So let's see what the peeps taste like with that. And everybody's going to have a peep here. How about you, Nicole? You coming into this picture? Come into this picture? Or is Mrs. Rabbit going to eat it? All right. <laughs> Hey, 
Wow. The sugar of the peeps completely overwhelms the wine. I can't take the, the wine tastes completely dry because this is all sugar. And it just kills the sweet taste of the wine. And this is not a very sweet wine anyway, so. There's wine on that. Uh-oh. Don't worry about it. So here's the thing what you do is you here's your you have your peep there, okay? And on Easter, you drink some Primarias, Priarimus, Pinot Noir. 2010 from Oregon. Oregon makes excellent Pinot Noir. And from all of us here at the Wine Guild and our family to you, we want to say Happy Easter! Happy Easter, Happy Easter to you. And we're going to close because it wouldn't be a Wine Guild episode without our mascot, right? Our holiday mascot himself. So where is he? Let's see. Can we have our, holo our mascot in here for a second, yes. please? Bring him in here, Nicole. Bring that. Bring our mascot in, the wine guild mascot. Just turn on. You bring him. Bring that. Bring it. Bring that in here. No, no, no. Snoopy, bring Snoopy in. Jeez, Louise, what happened here? Okay. Snoopy is a man of all holidays. Yes. Hit the music. We're having some technical difficulties here. It's not working. Oh no. The stupid thing. We'll just close with this. There we go, there's the music. Anyway. Happy Easter.